Hello and welcome to Nuts and Bolts. Fantastic to have you here. We have got um, a really great session on today. So if if you've got a toxic boss or you've had a toxic boss, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about when I talk about toxic bosses. Um, you'll notice that they have these three rare abilities. Let me tell you about those rare abilities. So I'm going to tell you about the rare abilities that these toxic bosses have got. And then I'm going to go through some step-by-step -step things that you can do if you've got a toxic boss to just try and make the situation a little bit better for you. Okay, so what are their three rare abilities? Number one, they have a rare ability to disengage us. So they have a rare ability. We might love our job. We might love the company we're working for. We might have been there some time. And yet we get this boss and they, we're totally disengaged with it. And they have the rare ability to be able to do that to us. Even though we're a good people, we've got integrity, we love our job and all those sorts of stuff. Within months, we're totally disengaged. So that's one of their rare abilities. Number two, they can take a high-performing employee so if you're a high performer if you've done really well in the past if you know your stuff if you're good at your job these toxic bosses have got a rare ability to turn that around and make you feel totally incompetent within months that's the second of their real rare abilities and the third one is they can single-handedly demotivate and de-energize an entire team three things that they can do. And in fact, I'm going to put a fourth in there that I've witnessed as well. The fourth one is, is they're very, very clever a lot of the times as well. So you might have a toxic boss that is treating you like crap. So he, they might, he or she, they might be um, undermining you in front of people. They might be um, telling you that you're, you know, whatever you do is not good enough. Um, they might be micromanaging you to the the nth degree, uh, all these sorts of things makes your workplace a really, really terrible place to be. And the fourth ability that they've got is that they end up keeping their jobs a lot of the times, not because they're good leaders or good bosses, but because they usually get results. So they know how to talk the talk, they know the politics, and they get the results that the upper management are looking for. So they don't usually move they stay there, which is really, really unfortunate for everybody below them. But anyway, so I've worked with a couple of toxic bosses myself. And let me tell you, it is not a pleasant place to be. And you start second guessing yourself. Well, we need to change that situation for you, right? Because this is not a sustainable place for you to be in. So number one, what I want to start you thinking about is you need to think about getting out, right? So if this toxic boss has got everybody else fooled, everybody else thinks that they're marvellous, you've complained to HR, you've done some formal things, nothing's worked, you've gone to mediation, that hasn't worked, you need to get out. You need to get out as quick as possible. However, I don't want you to just quit and then you suffer by not being able to pay your bills and all that sort of stuff. So what we're going to talk about now is what you can do to sort of sustain yourself while you're looking for something else. Number one, stop blaming yourself. This is not you. This is the boss. This is not you being incompetent. This is not you not being able to do your job. This is not you not having passion. This is nothing to do with you. So you need to stop blaming yourself. This is not anything to do with you. Okay. Think about all the past roles you had and how well you did in those. When you're starting to feel those self-doubts come in, Think about those times when you did really well, when you were thriving, when you were making a difference, when you had purpose, when you were, when you were, um, you know, at your best self. Think of those things because that's the real you. So stop blaming yourself for this. Okay, that's the first one. Number second, number two, or the second one. Stop expecting your boss to change. They've probably been like this for a very long time, and if coaching and you going to HR and all those sorts of things haven't made a difference, they're not going to change because they're not being held accountable by their bosses. So are you going to keep suffering, waiting for them to change? Don't expect them to change because it's not something that's going to happen in the very short time anyway. Even if they do start getting coached and do start being made accountable, it's going to be a long road for them to realize the impact that they're having. So that's the second one. Number three, connect. What I mean is connect with other people. 
connect with people that feel the same as you connect the people with people that you trust that can be empathetic with you because you need people to talk to right now you need to have people around you that will be able to share your load because it's going to be a load believe you me so make sure you connect number four stop caring now I don't mean about your job or you but stop caring about what they're saying about you because honestly it doesn't have any inch of truth in it it's purely mind games it's purely manipulation it's purely control and narcissism so just stop caring about that person's opinion of you think to yourself your opinion of me is really none of my business so I'm not going to worry about it because you know your worth because you've seen it and done it before okay so stop caring as much as you possibly can with regards to that sort of stuff treat this job as a stepping stone to your next job so you need to just try and keep looking throw your resumes out there talk to people that might be in different teams that might have vacancies coming up do whatever you can to try and get out of that particular situation because that's going to be a quicker option for you than you waiting for that boss to change or to, to you know make a difference or do a 180 and turn around and start being nice it's not going to happen not going to happen in the near future anyway so for your own sanity number one look at ways to get out resumes in other places other departments other teams other organizations if you have to number two stop blaming yourself this is not something that you are doing okay this is not you so just remember that number three stop expecting them to change that's not going to happen in the short term number four connect with somebody make sure you've got people that you can talk to people you can offload to people that will have an empathetic ear for you and then the last one is to stop caring stop caring about their opinion of you stop caring about their undermining little niggles or their ways look at it for what it is and that is pure manipulation and control you don't need any bar of that just do the bare minimum get on with what you need to do and get out so I know that sounds a bit peculiar but when you're in this situation believe you me it is not a sustainable place to be it's going to impact your physical health your mental health your emotional health you're going to take all this baggage home back to your family and it's really going to put you in a really really bad situation so you need for self-preservation try and do these things I hope they help you let me know if there's anything that I can support you with and just remember this is not you it's them okay so I hope that helped. If you've got any other problems, burning platforms, any issues that you want to talk to me about, then please feel free. Contact us on teamleadertoolkit.com, ask at teamleadertoolkit.com, and we'll get back to you. We'll throw a video together just like this one, and we'll get back to you and hopefully get you the solution that you're looking for. All right, until next week, we will see you then. Bye for now. Cheers.